What's going on people, Cash Cream Developments and welcome to another exciting episode to Cream Developments All Access as we take you behind the scenes working on this bad boy. As you know, we're well renowned for our work on Nissan GTRs. This one belonging to a really good friend Aziz. He's come down, has some work done on his Panamera, then obviously seen all the work that we do with GTRs, absolutely fell in love with them. Um, and he went and bought one straight out of the showroom, 2015 Nissan GTR, completely stock uh, factory and had it delivered here straight away, immediately. Um, he spent loads of money on having all the carbon fiber accessories that we could offer for the car um, as add-ons and also uh, upgraded the engine and tuned it to a uh, 650 Arca version, which we've done all here. Now he knew that we was uh, uh, developing a new wide arch conversion, our own uh, bespoke wide arch conversion for the Nissan GTR and he was excited about that. So as soon as we managed to show him roughly on a render, uh, a Photoshop render, what the, what the design was going to look like. He fell in love with it immediately and wanted to be the first one to have that done. So he commissioned it. We spent six months in development. The kit's now been uh, made ready. We've got two versions. We've got a, a one with a 2017 um, look. So it's got the front bumper and the rear bumper, then our wild arch kit. The other version is using Nismo bumpers front and rear. Um, again, highly modified and customized by ourselves and now available to for anyone to buy. Yeah. We're going to crack on with that. Dave's going to be stripping the car down today, completely uh, taking everything off and we're going to be trial fitting uh, the parts that are already here, ready to go on. So yeah, stay tuned, stay locked and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Right guys, so first things first, we're going to get this car completely stripped, get all the interior out first. So that leaves Dave to get on with the rear arches. Obviously the interior's got to be completely removed to stop any fire from taking place from inside the car. So you can't have no interior inside at all. Um, and that said, at the same time, the interior is going for a complete rear poster. So we're going to redesign the, the door card, the dashboard, the seats, the roof lining. Absolutely everything's going to be redesigned and redone in uh, black leather, leather and Alcantara and red stitching as well. So that's what we're going to start with. Get all the panels off, bumpers, bonnet, wings, all the bits and pieces get it prepped and ready and start test fitting the panel. So yeah, uh, stay tuned and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. champion Final stages now of the rear bumper. You can see Dave's working on it. We've had to crack the carbon lower splitter right there and pull it out three inches to match with the wide arches. We've got the uh, carbon vent that's going to sit like so, and that will marry up with the with the wide arch just there. You can also see we're cutting the three vents on either side as another styling feature. Once stage finished with that, we'll just finalise what we're going to do with the main centre where the fuse is going to go in the middle. But other than that, I'm really happy with uh, how it's come out. And we're almost there. I'm a true champion. Okay, 
so we are now moving on to the spoiler for Aziz's car. You can see Dave working in the background, I'll tell you what he's doing in a minute. The idea behind the spoiler was that it was supposed to be big. That's all we knew, that it needed a big spoiler because it's such a big car. But seeing as the fact that it's based on a Nismo, front and rear bumper, it only made sense going with a Nismo spoiler, which is what we have here behind me. But that's a Nismo rear, rear spoiler. That's what they look like. So what we have decided to do is chop it up in four pieces and make it a much bigger version. So no, we're not only going bigger that way, we'll be going bigger that way and also going taller up in the air. So you can see Dave has already got a Nismar spoiler that he's cut up. That was, did start life as well. As you can see, I've got the ends of my hand which have been cut off. And the yellow bits you can see on the end are the extra bits that we've added to go wider. Same, this is the underside of the spoiler. You can see the carbon. That's the original carbon. We've added a piece in there. That's how much wider we've gone, including that bit there. So, that much. And those bits on the very end is how much wider the spoiler's gone. So it's going to be really wide. But it don't stop there because once that part meets that part and they're sandwiched together, that'll make the top and the bottom. Dave's then going to add the extra section, which will go on the front of the spoiler and bring it here. So it'll make it a lot wider. And then we're going to alter the back of the spoiler and just add a little flare to it, just to give it our own little touch. Uh, and then we'll have to do something about the legs. And at the moment we're thinking about going uh, Aluminium, billet aluminium, making our own design with our own logo on it. Or the second option is to just simply cut this, extend it higher, and just make the exact same thing in carbon. But loads of work again, once again, uh, going into this. It is what it is, it's got to be done. It doesn't make sense making a spoiler for the car, they don't really suit it. And the fact that it's a Nismo makes complete sense. To, to have a, a Nismo rear spoiler that's completely modified but still recognisably a Nismo spoiler. Hello right, Dave. Hey. I was having a break, drink, sitting down, drinking my tea. But I've been dragged up to do a little bit of filming and show you exactly what we've been doing the fans, Paul. We've got for the fans. last week. The bumper's finally finished, been on the car, gapped up, primered, blocked off. Check out them gaps. Flatted, polished, <laughs> <laughs> the vents are all complete. Now I've also been making these will bolt onto the wide arch. These will, and they're just a lump of filler, but they will be moulded into carbon. will bolt from the wide arch to the diffuser, like so. We'll go to our factory to be moulded, and this plug will go in a bin. Well, maybe not a bin. I might use it to make a desk or something. It's like everything else we're collecting upstairs. <laughs> Or we'll make a nice desk with it. It's been a long week, but this was a crucial part of the project, um, the Nismo bumper, because as you can see, we've made it our own with the custom vents that we've thrown in. We've also, we probably mentioned this already, but this is the Nismo rear diffuser, carbon. And what we've done is that we've cracked it open here and we've pulled it out, literally, like so. so that will be bottled up like that. And that allows that vent to go in, which will be made out of carbon. But this all now needs to go to the factory, get moulded. Because this can't be used, it actually weighs a ton, it's really, really heavy. Right now, I'm going to go and sit back down, finish my tea, and then get back up and crack on again. That's what I like to hear. Tomorrow this is going to the factory. And at least the spoiler. 
Dave is working on this boiler upstairs, so I'll take you upstairs, have a look at that, and see what we've done with that. And there you have it. How's that for progress? So you saw Dave with a chopped up boiler earlier on, put it all together. And this is now roughly four days later, and we have got a final overall perfect shape for a spoiler. It's been manually measured right across the board. And that is a final design. It's going to be going in polyester today. We'll give it a final block just to give it that last bit of perfection. And then we can go into primer, polish it up, and it'll go off to the factory to be molded. Once again, it's again uh, weighs a ton, so it can't be used on the actual car. Hell of a lot of work. But as they say, someone's got to do it. This is roughly what the legs will look like. So we'll sit on the back of the boot like that. Of course, we're going to have a K in the Crown logo engraved in there in the middle. The edges will be chamfered on either side. And the idea is, hopefully, if we can get it to work, um, that this will be completely rivetless or boltless. There will be no bolts on display. So what we plan to do is get the bolts going through the tailgate and into the spoiler, where we're going to have, obviously, drilled holes, which will be tapped and dyed, um, to take the thread. Bolts will go up from underneath, inside, and same with the spoiler. We're going to have a plate that will sit on that, that will have rivets, not rivets, sorry, um, two M6 bolts with uh, tapered collars, collars on them going in, holding the plate in place, and then there'll be four bolts going into the spoiler, which obviously won't be visible. That way, on the face of the legs, there'll be no nuts and bolts as you, as you see in a lot of today's spoilers. That's the idea. an absolute ton now. <laughs> there you go. It's a very, very big spoiler. And uh, only really suited for wide arch cars. And here's the legs. Made out of MDF. So we drew this on a bit of cardboard. Dave's cut out of MDF, and that will go like so. It's got that cut out of the back where it sits in the back of the tailgate, and that sits flush. This will also sit on a metal plate as well to allow the downforce to be distributed so not to uh, dent the tailgate. But this will be made out of billet CNC machine aluminium. So it'll be super strong. And the idea is also to uh, Mount, make this and mount it without any nuts and bolts on display um, just to give it more of a classier look. As you can see we have the final product finally out the mould and ready to go in the car. This needs a bit of prep work, a bit of primer but this is the final product. So it's all about our exclusive edition cream Nismo rear bumper. This will fit all uh, non wide arch vehicles but with our added diffuser that goes underneath it can also fit wide arch cars as well. But yeah, really happy about that. It's all coming together nicely now. So here we have it, the final product once again. This is obviously based on the Nismo style with a cutouts there, the end caps for the very big spoiler that we made for the GTR. And of course, with the recess there to have our authenticated logo in place. 
This here is now completely finished, it's been flat and polished. Off to my factory, drop it off and get this molded so we can have it back to us in carbon fibre along with a huge blade. So looking forward to that one. See you when it comes back. Today is an exciting day. The GTR is finally going into pain after all that hard work and effort that's going into building the car, get the wide arches on, and getting it to where you can see now. So yesterday we done a late one, as you saw, getting the car prepped and ready and master. Very few minor details left to do, as you can see. Um, and we'll be getting some paint on the car today. How are you feel, Bubble? Yeah. You happy? Yes, I'm happy. This would be a good job for them. Yes. But that's how you need your staff to feel. You need to feel good and ready. As you saw, he feels that he's happy and content with doing the job today. He feels that's going to be a great outcome. I think it's going to be a great outcome. Uh, I can't wait to see the colour that we're going with today. It's another one of uh, the Hypershift Pearls, similar to what we did the Porsche. So the colour we've gone with is on par with uh, the Midnight Purples. The customer was uh, quite clear with his instruction as to what the car should look like once finished. He wanted the car to look OEM factory built vehicle, not over the top leery and loud. Um, he, he wanted it to um, uh, resemble and signify his age. <laughs> yep, good times ahead. Uh, very much excited to see how she comes out. Tonight, eh? It's a late one, we're working a late shift. It's knocking on 12 o'clock at night. But I'm working a late one to get this car done for Z. And I'm hoping to see a paint on myself. Obviously, it's a very special car. An incredibly special job for us. Uh, and I just want to make sure that it comes out absolutely bang on. So, putting in all my old uh, painting experience, I put it all to the test. It's coming out really good so far, really pleased with it. Literally, I just uh, put the final coat on and uh, we're going to be good for Matt in about 20 minutes. Stay tuned. Right, okay, so you guys saw me paint the car. Um, had to get the old painting skills back out again and we've done a really good job. I'm really pleased with it. But in um, the process of painting the car, I've decided to do something. Uh, it's a bit of a risk as Mr. Aziz has no idea that I'm going to do this, but the idea is to uh, not go gloss on the car anymore. We'll completely change the game plan. He knows obviously what colour the car's going. It was meant to be going in gloss, but see there's all the new age cars these days that are coming out in, in, uh, in matte lacquer, and it's something that we've done for many years now. Um, we've uh, uh, painted some real high-end uh, show winning cars in matte paint, especially more recently with the R34 that's gone to Essen in Germany. So we decided to go with well, I decided to go with the mat, um, and the car is completely ready in base car, ready to go in matte lacquer. But that said, I've also decided to do something else, which is, as you know, there's a carbon fiber window there on our wings. I'm about to demask this now, which will expose the carbon fiber. What we're going to do is not leave the carbon window uh, in its natural form. We are going to tint it with the exact same color paint and run a couple of coats over the top and you'll still be able to see the carbon weave through it but you'll have this pearlescent green purple flip over the top of it. It's something that you see in the Koenigseggs now and the Garnings which uh, uh, have four carbon bodies and uh, tinted lacquer on top. It's, not, it's the first time we're doing it on a GTR uh, but we've done tinted uh, uh, lacquer on carbon before, it's not, it's not the first time we're doing it. Um, but it's definitely the first time that we're doing on a GTR. So the whole theme of, uh, and concept of this car has now changed colour-wise. Um, and I just really hope that Aziz likes it. But he's put his faith and trust in us so far. Um, and if I'm doing it, it means I have faith in myself, because I don't, 
hardly ever get shit wrong. So, Mr. Aziz, I hope you like it. Uh, I wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't sure, and I know you put your trust in me 100%. Uh, so, fingers crossed. Let's do this. Now, the other thing that we're going to be doing is not only tinning um, the paint on there, the carbon there, we're going to be doing the side skirts, which is full carbon. We're going to be tinting that as well. The Nismo rear bumper, we're going to be tinting that. Again, we're going matte on the bonnet with the gloss accents and the tinted carbon. We're going to be doing it around the whole car. This whole car is going to have this uh, crazy concept. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so these are our custom three-piece forged wheels. Uh, as you guys know, we have started our own range of wheels. Um, and this is the first set that we've ever done. Now these wheels are 13.5J, whopping great big wheels on the back. And they've been test fitted on the car, they've had the tyres on, the car's been built around them, so we know everything works um, and it's all good. But, um, now we are taking out the centre section of the wheel. All the bolts have been removed, all the nuts have been, have been removed, should I say. Um, the center is going to come out, you're going to put it in rose gold, just like we did the Ferrari, and uh, lacquer it all in and build the wheel back up. So that's the theme of the car. We're going to leave the dishes in silver at the moment, that's the plan. Um, and the idea is to uh, offset it against the rose gold. The part behind you'll see um, would have our custom new. Uh, fillet aluminium legs for the spoiler or small spoiler stands and they're also going to go in rose gold so it'll be like a theme going out throughout the car anyway excited to see how that comes out Champion! 